one time there is I, I was going in a, uh, around on this side uh, she was looking like a kind of exercise and yeah. then she he was going out his house to go his car and he recognized she's a Muslim because she's wearing the same so he mentioned uh, the greeting for the Muslims Salaam Alaikum and she replied to him Alaikum Salaam that's it yeah that's it I don't talk to him anywhere when did that happen? when did that happen? no, time ago like uh, six months or eight months maybe it's in the last year I don't remember <laughs> Do you guys remember how long he's lived here, or he lived here uh, prior to to what happened yesterday? After we left, like about two years ago, like about a year and a half, we heard that uh, some people hire, you know, rent uh, the apartment. I saw his wife once coming out and go inside getting something from outside the patio and going out while I'm sitting here. She came out running with, I think it's something came off and she got in. I recognized that some people looks like a, and then I asked her, did somebody or uh, Arabs get in that apartment? I didn't know. And uh, that's it. Because she wearing the, not just a regular one, even a cover too. Yes, black one, you black know, it's only so her eyes. Her see eyes only, so like her eyes is beautiful. <laughs> so you can you see anything from her, just eyes. I talked to her one time, too. Uh, she asked me, where, where are you from? I told her, I'm, I'm from Egypt. And I asked him here, uh, where, here where, where she she's from? She say from, uh, I don't remember the name. Again, as Pakistan, as Pakistan. I told her it's Pakistan. She say no, not Pakistan. She say Uzbekistan. As Uzbekistan. Right. It looks to me like a kind of ghost. He comes and go. Nobody see him. You know, if you ask somebody, they can say maybe saw him once. Maybe you don't one see him. One, uh, yeah. It appears from from everything we've seen that he really was not visible or known in the community. I mean, I give the Friday sermons at. Uh, uh, many of the major mosques in Florida, and I can't recognize him. And I'll tell you, in Tampa, at least, you know, this, this is my town, this is my community. If I don't recognize somebody uh, that that allegedly was, was involved in the community in any way, that means he really wasn't involved. So, um, and look, I'll be honest with you, I'm not that surprised that he isn't visible or he wasn't visible in the community, he wasn't known, because the truth of the matter is, you know, the first thing groups like ISIS tries to do with its uh, propaganda material is it tries to isolate people from the mosques and from the community because they know if people go to the mosque, if they're engaged with the community, well, the mosques actually undermine the corrupt, deviant, blasphemous, violent messaging of ISIS. So they don't want people engaging the mosque because they know the mosque will undermine that message. They don't want people mixing with community members because they know community members are going to report anybody talking about violence to law enforcement. So it's no surprise he wasn't involved with the community because I'm sure whatever propaganda influenced him online wanted him away from the community because they knew if the community was involved, that attack would not happen. Thank you.